Hi, welcome to Signal Sound Studio Tutorials. My name is Jesper and today we're gonna look at my brand new Roly C board. I'm very excited to have it and I wanted uh, it for a long time and now I got it. So why not make a video of how to set this up in Ableton because it's a pretty big thing to do. We need 16 MIDI tracks one host track and then group them together but when you've done that you only have to do it once so that's a good thing about it for you that don't know the Roly C board what that is uh, that's a MPE keyboard and that stands for multi-dimensional polyphonic expression so you can see it in your right corner of the screen here a, bi a little bit of it uh, it's kind of, I think it's made of silicone-ish stuff, and it's pretty soft, and you can see I can really squish into it if I press hard. Um, in the beginning it's pretty odd to, to play with, but you get the hang of it very fast. Uh, and I'm used to playing at my machine studio or regular keyboard or Novation Launchpad launch or the Push and it's completely different. But now, when I've played for three days now with the Seaboard, the other uh, controllers are very hard to touch, very hard and stiff uh, compared to this. This is very organic. So, the first thing we have to do is, and I'm gonna switch off the webcam, and here you can see the, the whole keyboard, and we're gonna load in the Roly dashboard first, because this is the engine, the, the one that collects all the MIDI data that goes from the Seaboard and to your computer. You can see when I touch it, um, it will tell you where you are and how hard you're pressing and all that kind of stuff. But right now we need to have this on multi and the MPE is on because we're going to use Equator. That's the VST or standalone uh, that comes with the Roly and that's a great piece of synth in my opinion and then the MIDI range is from 2 to 16 and the pitch spent range is 48 so if you have that you can close this down or minimize it open up uh, Ableton Live and this should be like a standard preset when you start up Ableton so the first thing we have to do is delete our audio tracks and one MIDI track. So we only have one. Um, and then we have to click on MIDI from to no input. So it's clear. And we're going to rename this uh, host and put in equator and this is what it's what it looked like look like um, and I'm gonna choose some kind of uh, let's take that we can't hear it yet because if you can see there's nothing armed and I can't arm this because there's no input but fire up oops, sorry. fire up one MIDI track and call this voice under uh, MIDI from go to uh, seaboard rise and all channels channel 1 and MIDI 2 our host and track 1 equator okay then we can duplicate this 15 times 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So now we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We need sixteen. So we have sixteen. And let's uh, minimize them. Here we go. So the next thing we have to do is from the other tracks we had to do uh, from the channels to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 16 and down here we need to do the same two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen So now we should have like a MIDI uh, input if we chose them all and hit arm at them all. So, so you can see it, it will shift. And the sound will come. So now it's set up as uh, MPE. So we have strike, and then we have like a mod wheel upwards. We have pitch, pitch up. And the great thing about the MPE is it's not locked. So if this were a normal one on a keyboard, you can do like two C's and then it will pitch up both. But here. It will say like, and you can set that to whatever you want it to be. But uh, we're not still completely done. What I would do is like uh, select them all and group them to one group. Call this seaboard. And then I would close it. We can still play. So every time you should play this, you need to go in and arm all the tracks. But how can I record all of them at once? Well, let's go to preference, go to record, and hit arm, and start recording on screen launch. So that's the group. So now you can see it's a record button. After this, we're pretty much done. Um, like the last thing we can do is go to file folder and save current set as default. I have one, so I'm not gonna do that, but then it would look like this every time you will start up. So, well here you have all the controls like a, a normal track now and we can put on a click and record some hit stop 
and hit play. So, that was it. I uh, hope you learned something. Uh, the next video I'm going to do is setting up uh, different synths in Ableton. Um, so, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time. Bye.